Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now in today's video, I'm going to talk about the Vita Pro Trousers from Fjall Raven. Now you may have noticed that in some of my recent videos, these pants have been making their way into them. I, for a long time, was curious about why some of these bush crafters and outdoorsy guys were wearing these pants. It was a hard sell for me. I mean, I've had some pretty decent gear in the past, and I had my eye on these for a real long time, but the reality is, if you pay retail for these, they're about $150 US. Now, I actually got a really good deal on these. I paid right around 100 so I felt a little bit better about it and thought I'd give it a try. But at the same time, I am $100 into a pair of pants, and so now I'm kind of wondering, is it really worth the money? Well, I'll tell you what. My answer is definitely yes. Now that I've worn these for a while and I've had them on for numerous trips, I see why these pants are definitely a worthy investment, and I'm going to talk about them today. Now, these pants are made of Fjall Raven's own material called G1000. They consider this to be a very resistant to wear material. It's water resistant, windproof, provides UV protection, and is just a nice quality material. In essence, it's basically a blend of 65% polyester and 35% cotton. Now, the other thing that's interesting about these particular pants is that with this material, you are able to wax them and basically give them a higher level of water repellents. And so at this particular time, these are not treated. Um, they came basically as the factory condition and I fully intend on putting a wax coating on these and I will actually do that today. Now going through some of the features, I just wanted to talk real quick about the fit. These are typically sold with the European sizing. You'll notice that I have a size 50. Now I'm right in between a 33 and a 34 inch waist. So this waist size was just about perfect for me. And I am six foot one, so I have longer legs. So I found that the best fit for me is the European size 50 long. And I can tell you that these do fit quite well. They fit me just about perfect and are very comfortable. They have the perfect size waist and the perfect length. So um, this is definitely for me and my height and size, a good quality pair of pants. There are a lot of options if you look into them. They do have a lot of sizes and both in regular and long so you should be able to tailor fit these pretty well to most body sizes one of the most notable features on these pants are the reinforced areas these pants do have reinforced knees and also a reinforced backside so that's nice in a way because these areas that are actually most prone to wear um, from wearing them outside kneeling down sitting on different things that could be rough it is nice to have that reinforcement so you have a nice durable material to begin with never mind on top of that reinforced areas now the legs of the pants do have quite a number of pockets you'll see here a full-size cargo pocket that goes all the way down to the knee then in front of that you have a second pocket that simply goes in front of the larger pocket so this is kind of like a dual stage pocket here which is nice gives you a good deep pocket and also a slightly shallower one for plenty of gear. This particular pocket beside it is narrow. It's not quite big enough to hold a typical cell phone at this point, at least a smartphone. So it is a little bit narrow. It's good for flashlights, smaller things, and even a multi-tool. And this particular snap here is basically a dummy snap. There's nothing beneath it. It's just for look. So anyway, nice pockets on this side of the pants. Now on the other leg, you also have a nice size cargo pocket and on the inside, a thin mesh sleeve. The sleeve works very well for a typical smartphone. I keep my phone in there with the screen facing towards my leg so it won't get damaged. And then you can also keep a bunch of other stuff in the pocket. On the front of the pants, you do have two typical pant pockets. 
nothing inside of them, but they are nice and deep. They actually go to about that depth. So if you look at how big these pockets are, they're a nice size, nice and deep, and one on each side of the front of the pants. Now, as I mentioned before, the back of the pants are reinforced, but unfortunately they do not have any rear pockets. I guess I don't mind it a whole lot, but I kind of did wish to have rear pockets on these. I'm sure it's probably a durability thing, first of all. Second of all, without the pockets, you're less susceptible to actually getting water in your pants. But I would have to think that in reality, having a couple of pockets here wouldn't be a big deal. And I think I would prefer that. So if I had to knock these pants just down one little notch because of that, I'd certainly do so. But at the same time, it's nice to have the reinforcing on the backside where you need it. These pants have quite a number of belt loops. This is kind of nice because with the frequency of belt loops on here, you don't end up with any sections of the pants drooping down. Everything's held up nice and tight by your belt and right up on your waist where you need it to ride. All the snaps and buttons are very high quality. The main button on the front of the pants is actually on a little bit of a swivel which just aids in the ease of getting it on and off and gives it a little bit of flexibility while you're wearing it. All the buttons have the Fjall Raven logo on them. And if you look, even the snaps, same thing, have the same logo and they're a nice high quality positive snap. Now the legs of the pants have an interesting feature. This is something that I didn't think I'd use at first, but I found that since I have it, I do use it basically with these snaps, there is an elasticized enclosure on the inside of the pants. And you'll see as you continue to pull this enclosure along, you expose more and more buttons. There are actually three. And this allows you to cinch up the cuffs of the pants really nice and get it so it's a nice firm fit. And then on the back side of the leg, there's three snaps as well. So you can really get the leg of the pants nice and tight around your boots. And also another detail on the cuff of these, there's this little clasp, which is very helpful. This actually clips onto your boot laces and allows the pants to be held down in place even more to give you a real quality waterproof situation. So if you had these all waxed up and you had them cinched nice and tight and you had this pulled down right on top of your boots, there'd be no way to actually get any water inside your boots. And just finally, one last thing worth noting, there is a pocket inside these reinforced knees to allow you to put padding in your knee area. Now I don't have the pads. I honestly don't even know if they are a Fjall Raven factory pad that's available. I'm not 100% sure of that. I should probably know the answer, but I don't. And I may not even look into it. It's not something that I typically use. So I don't know. It's one of those things. I'm not even sure that I'd use it. But it's nice to have the feature there in case you're interested in it. Now if there's two things that I had to point out that are really just in my mind a little bit of a miss. First is the lack of the rear pockets. Just makes them a little bit cumbersome. Um, in fact, uh, just, you know, simple things like where do you carry your wallet? I mean, I'm not always a back pocket wallet type of guy, but when I have a whole bunch of other gear in my pant pockets and in my cargo pockets, I just like to have the rear pockets available. And then the other thing to me is I would really like to see maybe a ventilation zip on the inner side of the legs just to give these the ability to breathe a little bit more. Now, Fjall Raven does say that this is a very breathable material. I guess in my mind, only time will tell. Now I could see these being really good for the fall, throughout the winter, and into the early spring. I just wonder a little bit about the summertime use and if they'll be too hot without the ventilation zippers. So all right, guys, there you have it. A quick look at the Vita Pro trousers from Fjall Raven. Like I said before, I wasn't really so sure that I wanted to spend $150 on a pair of pants, especially something I was going to wear outside and just pretty much beat them up. But then I got to thinking about it a little bit more, found myself a deal and said, what the heck, I'll give them a try. You know, I think this is something that if these are as durable as they say they're going to be, and I will only know that through time, um, then it's definitely a quality investment especially more for $100 and $150. And if you're careful and watch, you can definitely find yourself a deal. These pants seem to be a good quality piece of gear. They're nice material, good utility purpose with the pockets. 
nice features, the ability if I wanted to, to put the pads in the knees. I like the idea of being able to wax them and then they become pretty much waterproof. So they're almost in a way kind of like rain pants. Has the nice enclosures on the bottom so you can cinch them down real tight around your boots. A good amount of belt loops so that they ride in a nice spot. Overall, just a real quality piece of gear. So all right guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.